I didn't expect you to be here. Welcome back to another episode of... Sorry, that's Stuart running the tap at the back of me whilst I do my intros. Don't worry about that. I'll just talk louder until he's done his bit. So we are together <laughs> today making a... We're making a bread, I was going to say. We're making bread. I'm making uh, crusty rolls because she adores the crusty rolls. And Stuart is making a bloomer. Um, cob. A cob. Sorry, a cob. It's been filling my head with all this wonderful bread making knowledge and stuff because he is a professional baker, I think I've said in other videos before. Um, before we get into everything, I just need to do the whole blah for the algorithm. Please would you lovingly click the little subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload or do some other madness. Um, yay, thank you very much. And then if you could just pop a little swipe of a finger over the thumbs up little figure in the corner over here somewhere and that would be i would love you forever for that thank you very very much and obviously don't forget to comment in the section below if you have made bread over quarantine time and you have other recipes you want to share or you would like me to try out or pop on over to my instagram or sometimes i'm on tiktok not that much because as i said the vertigo and the non-coordination i'll tumble over and probably kill myself live on the tiktok video not good for anyone or maybe for the views or clout who knows so yeah oh i'm chilling um i am making a set bread rolls i've got uh so i've got 500 grams of strong bread flour and um, that's Stuart shoulder you can see him just in the corner there and um, he doesn't want to be on a video because it's not enough me just having four views he wants to wait until i've got a bit more so that's an incentive if anything um and then i so i've got that in a bowl i've written down my ingredients that's why i'm flipping around for i should have brought my card with me like a little auto cube just i should have had it under there um so 500 grams of bread flour i have got 10 grams of fresh yeast just behind me i'll show you that in a second and i've got 350 ml of tepid to warm water because i'm using live yeast and that uh mixes and reacts better with warm water and dissolves quicker um and I have got five grams of salt. I've already got the salt in here. Um, now, usually I know there are loads of, loads of info online that people, if you've been making bread and watching other people's videos, and may or may not have told you that, obviously, I'm using live yeast, not dead yeast, as I called it, or just dry yeast earlier. Um, it is live, obviously. I don't know what that means. I tried asking Alexa earlier, but she said she didn't know. <laughs> and gave me a recipe for garlic bread rolls, which I didn't want or need. Um, so... Uh, yeah, you shouldn't let the salt really interact with the live yeast because it can kill it. And then I don't know what happens. I'm guessing the bread doesn't work. So uh, don't do that. Also, I just noticed I put loads of highlighter on my nose. I look like I've got a robotic metal nose. Love that for me. Um, and so, yeah, so Stuart's just quickly just showed me there what he's doing with his live yeast. I've got to mix my live yeast. I don't know if you can see. I'm sorry if the lighting's bad. I've got my ring light on. I've had to draw a blind. But I've got two windows here and here. But... It's where I am. So that's what the live yeast looks like. I think I think you can see that clearly Stuart, there. Stuart just said something that I won't include in the video. <laughs> but it's not like a dirty area. Um, which it doesn't. So I'm just going to do that. So live yeast. It does have a peculiar smell to it. But it's, you know. I don't know. To me it sort of smells like. Going off milk dairy milk buttons yeah that's what it says that to me so anyway i've got tepid warm water it's still warm so i've got to pop my yeast in now um oh i just i've just plopped that all in i don't know if you can see like there you go that's in there it looks like a little clay poo in the bottom i'm just gonna stir it and dissolve it i hope you're all well and and looking after yourself during this period and you know staying home staying safe Protecting the NHS. Um, and you probably know. I, I think this video will probably go up, around, or on, or maybe just after. But it's VA, VE Day, Bank Holiday Friday this Friday. And uh, there's this whole thing where people are celebrating in their front gardens, or their balconies, or in their houses, or on video chat, whatever is possible for people. Some of us are lucky to have gardens, some of us are not, and some of us obviously have no space but like if you're at home and you know you can you want to have a little cake for the day there's loads of stuff on there's loads of stuff on like facebook and online about the schedule for it like um queen's speech in the evening uh sing along we will meet again i think it's just done with a single link to you and some other bits and bobs and just and, and some great things for the walk is going again um so <laughs> 
some great kid, things for kids to do over the bank holiday thing as well. So I'll be out in the front garden with Stuart. We're going to make some bunting and things. Hopefully, it's, cold. it's really warm outside, but it's really cold. I said I live in a little cottage and it's freezing. And uh, I'm repping my Shane Dawson, 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 Shane Dawson mate. Mm. And I'm still cold. And as you can see, as I said, it, I don't know. Oh, I just tell me stop staring now. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of grey and milky, like dishwater. What's next? Oh, I think I've got to make a wow in my flower. I'm just going to put a little bit of the same, I think. So, so I'm doing one in a bowl, um, where I'm going to make a well in a bowl and knead and do all that crazy stuff in the bowl I'm using. Oh, Stuart, just, Yeah. How much is that? About three tablespoons, teaspoons. Three teaspoons of olive oil. It's just poured into a mixture there. Then you stir it out. Yeah, make the uh, well for the flour. Just like that? Yeah. What, without stirring it in? Stir the salt in. What? Salt. Salt and the olive oil. Yeah. Sorry, I'm learning as I go here. So oh, I'll come over this way. You can't see it at the moment, but I'm literally just stirring all that in and I suppose distributing it around the flour. Um, I said, yeah, sorry, I do mine in the bowl. Stuart is doing his in a traditional well, actually. Have you got a camera near you? I'm gonna get Stuart to take some pictures um, of what he's doing, and hopefully, if I can cope, I'll edit and put a picture of what Stuart's doing. <laughs> stir, 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 stir. And um, so yeah, so I'm stirring in all the olive oil and the salt, and oh, and if I'm organised, I'll put the. Uh, uh, the recipe I'm using down below. Um, if I don't, don't come for me. I'll put it, on this, I'll put it somewhere. I can't remember. So also, my friend Estelle, she's a baker as well. She's, well, she's trying to be a baker at the moment. She's near hostess at the moment, which I can, I'm sure you can imagine is a, a tumultuous time for anyone who can't do their normal job or the industry they work in is suffering heavily. And she is stuck in Paris at the moment. Um, not stuck. I mean, she's in Paris at the moment with her sister and she's like, she was over there trying to be a baker and doing a bakery course, which got sort of cut short, uh, just as sort of COVID-19 kicked in. Oh, I just picked a bit of flour up myself, uh, kicked in and she was uh, situated in Paris. And she's been baking loads and her Instagram, uh, Baked by Estelle. Ah, I'd say terrible thing. If not, I'll link her below and go check her out because uh, she's amazing. She makes crazy fun things every couple of hours, it seems. Uh, she's always baking, the woman does not stop, and it's delicious, and I just wish I could eat half of what she's making. What's next? It's just very doing his well thing on the counter. Um, it's still very You've got to make an oven in the middle of the I've got now, I... And then pour the liquid in. Obviously, we've washed our hands and everything. Wash, 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 wash. Um, so I'm making a little well. So this is what I, I've mixed it all in, obviously. Not dramatically different to have what I showed just now. Uh, I'm now making a well. What to, so I can see the bottom of the jar. Mm -hmm. The jar. The bowl. <laughs> so I'm making a well so I can see the bottom of the bowl I'm using. And obviously I will lift it up in a second to show you what that looks like. Um, About dropping it, can you see? I've sort of made a well there. Yep. And then I'm gonna pour. Just don't pour it over now, just in case the water percentage is too much. Oh, okay. So just tell me, don't pour the whole amount in at once in case it's too much, and obviously, I suppose collapses the well and everything, and everything goes to shit. Oh, Stuart's having to catch his. He's dripping over the edge of it. This is what you feared a bit because it's like can containing the wetness. He's, he's saved it, he's, he's contained it. Um, right, so I'm just going to pour... Oh, and the more I'm doing that, what you're doing? You've got to mix yours, yeah. Okay, so I've got to... When I've, what, when I've poured in some, then pour... then Pour the majority in. Pour, I'm pouring the majority of my jug in. I don't have a <laughs> it does sound like I'm urinating. For all you ASMR people out there. 
Okay, going. You sure? Hello. For more? Yes. This could be all of it. Stop. And now what am I doing? You've got, it, it, all you've got to mix it, yeah. Or with my hands? Yes. I was just going to show you what what it looked like, but I've already begun mixing it. Oh, it feels horrible. I hate this kind of stuff. It's oh. <laughs> I need a straw for my beer. <laughs> I've just, just got a beer on the go. Now I've got proper. I, it is really, but sort of really sticky. It's like a sort of slime, and it's what it's all over my hat. Can I, let, I'll show you, I'll show you. Literally. That's my hands right now. <sighs> Using my little hand mixers. Um, oh, we're going to have bread for day. I love a crusty roll with just some butter on. I'm going to make mine crusty, by the way. Um, well, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. Um, where Stuart works, they have like professional ovens that are like jet steams and sort of that's because it's the steam off the water i didn't realize it makes bread or like crusty rolls crusty i didn't know that i thought it was like a glaze or something but do i put mine's a bit china bomb do i put a bit more in stuart's got his hands in my yeah. bowl at the moment a bit more yeah um, do, no. oh, do, I... it, do it under there where it's wet where it's dry <laughs> <laughs> you look like that thing from um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guys, you know the um... group. Oh, is it group? I don't know what's. Like oh, Stuart looks amazing. It looks like a a, a dough. I need it now. He's got a ball of dough. <gasps> oh, I. If you just pour it in. I look like a sex worker. I just aided a lot of people in one go. I'm now going to pour the rest of my yeast in because I wished. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. oh, I poured it all in so it just made face like, don't do that. I've done it though. I've probably put too much in now and ruined it. Because I'll save that much left. Oh no, Stuart, saved a bit of his. Might just some more flour. Oh. Get your hands in it. It's not being a girl. <sighs> a girl, Stuart, doesn't mean that because we don't gender stereotype. <laughs> I mean, what's it to be a girl? I mean, who's to say? Um, you know, must choose in the Middle Ages from Essex. I mean, I think I've just been racist now by saying about that about Essex, but you know. Oh, it's very sticky, guys. If you're not into this mad texture, Jimmy. is it too sticky? It's too wet. Oh, I've ruined my dough. No, it's too wet. What's happening? What's going to have to happen? Stuart's coming in to rescue me. There's Stuart's little head there. Uh, he's just getting the bread flour. We've got a situation. I and my too much gene poured all of my yeast in at once. And I've got, oh, sorry, that was a really unflattering double chin angle. Oh my god, what's happening? It's all going, Stuart's. Oh, Stuart's taking it out of the bowl and just placing it on. I, I'm sorry, I can't stop the camera to show you what's happening. You're going to have to use your imagination and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a second when I get my hands back on it. So what's happening is I have made I've put too much yeast. I've made too, my uh, dough too, too wet. Huh? Too much water. Too much water. Not too much yeast, but too much yeasty water. Um, so it's just literally sprinkled out some more bread flour onto the counter like a heap of it, and he's rolling my dough into it, and essentially I suppose kneading and massaging the flour into it so it gets the flour into it without I suppose dumping a load in, which I would have done, which probably doesn't make sense. And um, so he's just rolling it around. So if it happens to you. Just dump out a load of bread flour onto the counter and incorporate it into your mix by kneading it and rolling it around and sort of slathering it in so that you get flour in. Sorry if that happens to you, it's happened to me. I'm sorry you don't have a trained baker to save you, but I mean, you've seen my other videos. I've never had anyone to save me before this. Maybe the only time that someone saves it from, from being awful. You've seen how I've made a drag dress and you've seen how I've done my alien drag queen look. And, you know... The too much steam does come in quite often. They're gonna get you're gonna ruin that with that, so you need to go wash your hands. I've gotta go wash my hands, people. Um yeah. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 
and I'm back. Hands all washed, because um, I had loads of the wet dough, of the too much gin dough on my hands, and just rectified my dough by adding in more flour, um, by putting a heap on the table, massaging it in, kneading it, doughing it. Am I doughing? You need to knead it now. I need to knead it, I need some flour in it. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you, so I am, oh, I'll show you what my dough looks like. I'm just probably in some flour. This is what my dough looks like. Oh, she's a big bugger, I can't hold her hardly. Do you remember what it looked like before? Piece of shit. Piece of shit, it looked like a piece of shit before, but boop. No, it doesn't. Um, so I'm, so I'm just watching the technique on, uh, do you know, I'm going to have to do it over here, aren't I? So you want to make your dough, yeah? So your dough is a bit bobbly, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, fill it in the fill. You've got to make it smooth. It's right. going to take about ten minutes to knead. Okay, so this is gonna. So this is what. It, oh my god, I'm trying to just what Stuart's doing. <laughs> I don't know what Stuart's doing. What's the technique? So I can take push, like, pull, push, pull, push, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. I'm not doing this. Oh. All right, people. I'll take them off here, and I'm going to move it along and show you what Stuart's doing. Can you see? Sorry, terrible camera angle, but that's how you're meant to do it. Not how I was doing. It. So we have to do this for ten minutes. So I'm gonna pause so you don't have to watch that boring footage, and I'll be back when I've needed my dough. So we have done the kneading part. So it's just finishing off. I'm not cheating. I just got flimsy arms. But he said that mine was looking a bit like an old man's dimpled face, and it should look like mine now. I've done my makeup and I've got the beauty filter on. So nice and smooth. So he's just sort of literally. It's only a couple of minutes. He's just rah, 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 rah. he is a baker, and obviously I know if you're at home, you don't have a baker. You're making it. Sorry for you, buy a bread maker if you're not going to do it by hand. Do it by hand, you kids. So. But dough, he's only been doing it for a couple of seconds. I have done all of the other kneading <laughs> doughing myself. Um, and now what we're doing? So we're going to mould it, just mould it round. What? Mould it round. Mould it. Mold. So it's actually literally just, just not, not tight. That needs to be at the bottom, like obviously. Right, so need smooth top and I'm literally spinning it round in this fashion on the counter. I, again, have not given you a helpful camera. I don't think I was even in the frame then. I haven't given you a, a helpful camera angle. Which, you know, if I bring it over here, uh, I still don't think you can see. But like I said, roll it round like that. Imagine the count, my hand as a counter and I'm literally in a fashion. <laughs> I nearly threw it on my face. Moving it round and so it's nice and flat and round. Not flat, you know what I mean. Flat bottom, rounded top, rounded, nice circular sides. I sound like an ex, but like I'm not, I don't, that's what I'm guessing it's got to look like. Stuart is now just greasing up some pans uh, that we're going to let it prove in with olive oil. We're not proving it, we're just letting it rest. Oh, we're letting it rest, so we're not proving it, we're letting it rest. Then we knock it back. And then we knock it, what does that mean? Then we knock it back. After it's rested. After it's rested. Do you think we just smashed the life out of it? We have. I you have to let it rest. Oh. And then you once it rested, after about fifty minutes you knock it back, make the shapes you're making, and then you prove it. Okay, so we're letting it rest because we've knocked it about too much, and then we're gonna knock it about again. And then we're gonna make shapes. We're gonna what so for me bread rolls for you a bloom uh, no, what are you making? Uh, no, no. A cob, cob. A cob. Uh, no. Uh so just making a cob. So here so once we've let it rest. So this is Stuart's one like Blue Peter and Stuart's now resting in this pan, it's just got olive oil greased all around it, he's just sort of Popped his dough in. Mine's all greased up. And then, oh. What, flatten it out a little bit? What? Um, no, we, we need to cover it. Oh. For the term is. Yeah. Yeah, for you guys out there. But this is the baker's term as well. To stop it skinning up. What, what? That's what he's called. What are we doing? We've got to cover it. We're covering this with cling film. Cling film. It could be a, could be a tea towel if it's clean. Clean tea towel. Just to stop it skinning up. S so we're covering it with clean film or a clean tea towel if you have one at home uh, to stop it skinning up so it doesn't grow a full skin. That's what we're doing. Um, and then... I'm fucked. 
So I'm gonna. What are we doing? Oh, we're using clean tea towels because we have clean tea towels. I forgot what my own house is like. Oh, so I've got. Um, you can't see, I can't get my leg high. Oh god, you just saw that I'm wearing black socks with red sliders. I'm also wearing glittery cycling shorts. And I'm saying I saved my Shane Dawson t shirt. Um, so I'm literally covering like that. You can't see it now, it's like magic. And then we're going to rest it for how long? 40, 50 minutes. We're going to rest it for 40, 50 minutes. And yeah, I'm just going to run the camera and you're just going to watch me. Looking at it resting. Well, not really. I'm going to do some form of editing for this video. I know I'm usually religiously against editing, but I'm going to have to uh, because Stuart says some things I don't want in the video. <laughs> and uh, clean up. And clean up and make it look like TV magic. Like, oh, look, I've got flour everywhere. And I'm, ooh. and then it'll all be clean and pristine. I'll probably have a different camera angle because I'll probably forget where I had the camera originally looking. Maybe I'll give you a camera angle where you can actually see what I'm doing. But I know you're not into that. Debbie? Debbie moaned at me last time. She couldn't see my drag dress properly. So she will moan at me if she can't see what I'm doing. We're going to call it Debbie Vision. And notice, Debbie, I haven't burped yet, yet, as of filming at the moment. I haven't burped. I've just rested mine with Stuart's, and we will see you in 40 to 50 minutes. So, it's been 40 minutes. We let them rest, because now we're going to... What are we going to do? Knock it back. Now we're going to knock it back. Mould it. And mould it. And let it prove. And let it prove. So I put you on this angle so you you can see this is not mine. Oh, I've, there's fingerprints in mine. There's a fingerprint in mine. Is this my one? What do I? Stuart! Well, you just moved them from where? I didn't move them anywhere. You just moved them from there to there, so you haven't moved No, them. I just moved it like that. So, which is it says? Can you tell? So that's my one, is it? I did move it there for sure. Oh, okay. So this is my one. That was, and obviously, Mark thought you just saw Stuart. I think. Cool thing. No, I think this is mine. You're right. Yours took up more room, I think. So this is my one. And now we're knocking it out. Oh, back. Knocking it back. We're knocking it back. Sorry, Stuart's trying to make sure I listen to this. Oh, it's probably is my mind a little bit. We're just knocking the air out of it. Am I doing it right? Just knock the air out of it, just So we're just knock knock knocking the air out of it. Split splop split splop. Right, so for you, you're making rolls. I'm making rolls by the way, yes. Yes. So you now wanna roll yours out? What? No 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 roll roll, that's not rolling, is it? What like What What do you mean? What you Oh! So it looks like a wow! <laughs> it looks like a bucket. <laughs> oh, I love that you can't see our faces. <laughs> oh lord. And that's that done? No. What, what? No, is that a roll? No, I know it's not roll, Stuart. I mean like but it's rolled out now. So I'm just gonna cut mine off, am I now? Oh wait, I'm cutting mine off. So basically you just wanna Try and get them up roughly the same way. Oh, we had a fat middle, so it's just eight. You want, to you want probably about six, yeah? So try and. Try and get. Like that. And you just cut them. Right. Mm. So I'm just going to measure out where I'm going to cut mine from. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's right. <laughs> so just cut it down like that. Cut through. Oh look! Oh. So I've cut a little blob off. So I'm not sure you can see that on the camera, but see the air rolls, that's the ease working. Oh, right, so. I don't. Oh, see, like, these little holes here. That's where. See, little holes? That's where the yeast is working, so it's just informed me. And that's a good thing, right? You should have that, yeah? Yep. So that's what you'll be looking for. If you want to look for it in your dough, some more little holes in there. And my yeast is working. Uh, oh, this is going to be a big roll, this one, which is a little bit chub chub. Nice, it should be nice with some butter on. 
more little air holes there you can see uh, four five Uh, and a big one. And a big one. We got a big knobbly one here. <laughs> so you need to make yours round. Oh, so now I've just got to shape them into a roundness. So you can, the easiest way to do it for me. Yeah. I'll do one. Yeah. I'll do like that. Okay. Oh. Oh, well. Okay. Or you can do yours how you want to do it. But, but like. You need to get your hands on the on the surface as well. Stop, Trevor. Yeah, that's fine, but this needs to be smooth on top. <laughs> so other people do it yeah. like this with two hands. Oh, you can do it with two hands. Okay, I might do it with two hands because I don't. I think I was jumping the gun. Then you can just. Oh, clock. Shall I move my other way so you can start working on yours? Oh. We haven't got a smooth top at all. I'm gonna pop that one there. Smell the yeast, can't you? Yeah, you can smell the yeast. This is coconut video, isn't it? We're making some little bread. We're like making a bread roll, and Stuart's making a cob. I was just on video call to my brother and sister whilst we were just waiting for it to rest. No, I'm like, I gotta go! I got to go! Oh, I got to broke my neck! <laughs> I got to go! I got to do my bread in the morning! I actually do think I have just pulled a muscle in my neck, so... Ouch. I have, I just pulled a muscle. Yeah. I, I just bent like that. What, what is that? That one should do. I want to fix it. <laughs> I'm going to get to it just because I don't want it to come out horrible. And I, as I said, I do have a trained baker living with me. <laughs> I think that one's come out well. Don't squash on it. Oh. This mod is tight. Tight. You finished that one off. <laughs> the little ones I don't like. <laughs> I find I don't think I'm doing this at all. I'm, not, I'm trying it one hand. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Oh, I think I'm doing it all right with hand. I get what you were doing. Is that all right? Or is that a bit... Oh, is that number tapping? There's too much air in it still. Oh, I see. Oh, so that's the... Pr you're pushing... Oh, right, I see. So I was meant to be... Oh, what happens if you don't? So I've got my little... I've got to put my tray to for the next part of the proving. So we're improving it again. Oh. Yep. It's okay. We're now going to prove these another 40 minutes. Thereabouts. Maybe I mean, set a little alarm for 30. They feel quite lively. They feel quite lively. So it keeps things. What does it mean? Oh, what does that mean? The yeast is working well. So lively means that the yeast is working well. So they all feel the dough. Feel so they make sure they're, because obviously they're going to double the size. Oh. I think I'm going to have a. Mine probably look like sausages, I'm going to cut them. And you can't cut them once they're fruit. No, but I mean like when they're cooked, I'm going to have to probably... Baked. Baked. Baked, sorry, not cooked, baked. Um, right, so, covering the tea towel again. Hmm? Tea towel over them again. So it should be it should be a wet tea, but not a wet, but like a damp tea towel. Should we do that then? Um, yeah, or you can use like a cling film with oil, but that's, that's just messy. We're going to dampen tea towels. So when you prove it in a prover, yeah. it's got humidity yeah. and temperature. So when you prove it in a prover, it's got humidity so and this temperature. This is your humidity. So, so the wetness is our humidity on our tea towels. Oh, mine's a bit dry in the corner, actually. I'm always dry. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Calm down, bro. Oh, I'm gonna get this attack. You wanna get wet too? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <No>, honey. <laughs> Is filthy fucking now. Boop! Oh, God, I've got to stop blinking, but I want to get monetized. Um, so, yeah, so damp tea towels now placing them. Is that right? I just, it just didn't look the same, does it? It looks. I think it is dry. It looks like wet. It looks like film mine. Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, that's mine. <laughs> Does it need to be. No, that's, that's too dry. Oh. God, I've got to wet mine again, people. My tea just doesn't want to get wet, peeps. Or maybe your muscle is draining too much. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I am draining it too much because I'm so. Sort of... I think it's damp. There we are. So, there's these covered. I'm just thinking. What? It's warm outside. Oh. Maybe we'll put it in the shed. We're going to put our dough in the shed because it's warm outside and, um, yeah, they help it proof. So, ugh, ugh. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. So, again, I will... Uh, what? In the meantime, while we're doing that, we're going to put the oven on. Oh, in the meantime, whilst our bread's proving for another 40 minutes we'll in the shed, we're going to warm the oven to what? 220. To 220 on an electric oven. I don't know what that is on the gas oven. Probably... Maybe, I don't know, is that too much? Too... Google it, people. Check with your own oven workings. Um, and, uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to let that prove. Uh, I will do a good thing and edit and pause, and we will see you 40 minutes in our real lives, but it'll be a couple of blimps for you. So, yeah, see you in... Oh, God, look, hand all over. Oh, I'm keeping all this in, by the way, if I've got to edit anything. I'm not doing fancy stuff. See you soon! So it's been another 40 minutes, we've been proving the bread in the shed, Stuart's having a little Stella for himself, and uh, we've got, I've got it out here, so I am just literally, let me try and get this vlog started at the moment, I just had a camera doesn't fall over, I'm going to reveal, so they've been proving in the shed, and then we give them a little touch pan very lightly. I don't know if I did that enough, I'll do another one. I mean, you can't see that one, I don't think you'll be able to see it at all. You may be able to see it, but it springs back. So, yeah, so now, what we're doing now? Oh, well, just see Stuart's one. Stuart's just got a little bit more of a skin grow on his, or that's the way to use it. easier for me to cut. His popped right up. Um, yeah, so these are rolls, and now are we cooking them? Baking them. Baking them, baking them. What are you doing? Stuart? Gonna flour, oh, Stuart's going to sprinkle some flour over the top of it. Do I need to sit on mine? No. No, you don't have to. Don't I'm doing crusty rolls. So wait, wait, hang on. Let me bring yours there. This is it. This is a sieve. Yeah, we don't so, have a sieve, so I've made it out of foil and a... And a colander. What are they called? Colander? <laughs> Isn't it? You said calendar. Colander, what's it called? Is it colander? I don't know. Pasta drainer, oh, so right. we've just <laughs> sprinkled some flour over the top. And why are you doing that? Just for decoration. Oh, just for decoration. Okay. Just for decoration, huh? Um, so that's his. Can you pop that knife? Probably a shit knife. Oh, sorry. Rubbish knife. <laughs> it's PG. <laughs> it's it probably the shit knife. <laughs> um, so for a cob, best to do a cross. It's like a Coburg cob, but the knife probably crap because it's a house knife, not a not pro, pro knife. So. Not pro bread. Oh no, it's done it. Is that what it's meant to do? Should go a bit deeper. Oh. But don't want to go. So it's kind of cut across like a hot cross bun into it. So that makes sense. But our knives aren't as sharp as he wants them to be. So, so he's sort of. You can see what's happened there. He's done it a bit like he wants a sharper knife, he wants a sharper cut. I'm trying to serrate you one, but I don't want to go too deep. No, don't go too deep. Okay. See, it's pulling it. It's pulling it a bit, we don't want that. Oh. A little bit better. Okay. So that's, that's a bit better. I need to put, do I need to put a little... Much better! <laughs> we 
before it's drag race or not. Um, <laughs> I need to put water in the bottom of the oven for my donut. I need to put water in the because I need steam. But is that going to affect you also? Mm. What are we going to do with that? We can sort of. What can I do? What? Oh, it's just that we got a water spritz. Let's just kind of fill with some clean water for my rolls, and we're going to spritz my rolls. Just lightly because. Because Laura was saying, like, we don't know if you want to spray them. Yeah. We're going to make the bottoms wet because it's stickiness. We don't want. Oh, what? Well, because I'll get a crusty bottom wet. No, it? no, just won't be wet bottom. Crusty bottom, wet bottom. <laughs> <pot, wet> bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want a sticky, soppy bottom. I think we might. <laughs> <laughs> Such a hoe. That's a light spray, yeah. If I'll do one, you do the rest. I might do one, so it's just meant for me. You want to stand back, you don't worry. That's it. What? Just one? Have you... it's just, it's gone off on that one, so just spray it. That's it, and then. As long as you like, you got to dry up. Done, done. Am I done? <laughs> so the oven will be preset. Pre preheated preset oven, and now we're good. Can I have a judgment for? Um, your rolls probably take about 15 minutes, my bread will probably take about 20. 15 minutes. So we'll come back when they're both ready, and uh, yeah, so I will pause it again. Maybe I'll have you back on the tripod so that might look easier to watch. But yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna pause for another like while they're cooking and then I'll be baking. Back. Baking, baking. I'll be back with the finished product. Oh, so here they are and I don't think you can see probably because the light obviously just got out of the way for me. I'm like, hi, hey, welcome to my oven. So these are my little my crusty rolls are growing there and Stuart's oh look you can see Stuart's really well. Look at the cross. Oh no, it's like a cross. And then, get to rolls. Hey, crusty rolls. Hey, cross bread. Um, yeah. They look lovely. Lovely, lovely. Well, hey, we're back again. So, my rolls have baked. Baked, I remember I used the word baked there for the first time this whole video was seen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. So, I'm pulling my rolls out because the rolls are ready. So, I just thought I'd just. Stuart's like, you should fill this bit, like, you're right. One's missing, because I took one out earlier, because it's a little bit more ready than these, these have a couple of minutes more. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pop them down, because it's freaking hot. So I've got one that I took out a couple of minutes ago, literally. Huh? Flip the bottom first. Oh, I've got to flip the bottom first, sorry, Stuart's miming too much, too, but I'm a deaf and I can't lip read either. And um, so, we get the bottom, and the teacher, because they are very hot, and what I need to do is, if they've baked well, you should flick them and get a hollow sound. Can you hear that? And then do another one so we know that we've got consistency. Hollow. And, the, and also the mould at the bottom is really nice. There's no misshaped. The mould's really on the bottom. Oh yeah, so there's, you don't want too many like deep, I've got a few little crevices that cracks, but like the mould is nice so you don't have any oozing out or weird shit like that. Probably an oven spring, but. Bit of oven spring. This is where they go in and it's sort of does that, what this is, this is here, but I quite like that, actually. To be fair, most of the rolls I buy in the supermarket look like that. Anyway. But Stuart said it's not a good thing, but I, most rolls I've, crusty rolls i bought look like that, so I'm a pro. So anyway, it's just, just cut one out, open with a bread knife, obviously, because it's serrated, it's easier, you won't squash them down or, you know. And, oh, can you see that, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up the steam, I don't think it is, but it is. Get the crust here, so It is, literally, can you, so steam you can't see, but, Can you hear that for your ASMR? That's how my crunch should sound. My cr my cr crusty, I was looking at crackly, crusty rolls. And hello, I am a crusty roll and I look really good. And like crusty on top. I was going to put a bit of melt right through. I don't like them hot, hot. Like you can't see the steam, but it's mad. But yeah, so they're done. So we're going to get Stuart's out probably in a minute or two. Actually. How are you? How is yours doing? Open that and have a look. You tell me. You're the expert now. I'm the expert. I'm the expert now. Um, is that me, Dean? You tell me. Yeah. Is it? We'll take it out of the tin and tap the bottom. Oh, my. Well, 
freaking loads of bath. Hang on, let me move. I'm going to burn my hand on this. So I've literally, whoa, see, I've lifted Stuart's out of his tin. That's done. I'm looking to it for confirmation. Take the paper off. Take the paper off. Is it a nice bottom? It's got a nice bottom. It's got a little hole there, but I see the tail, but nothing's come out of it. We're looking out on the bottom, though, don't we? LGBT related joke mind, there. Would you mind the flour of, of the tea towel, please? Oh, yeah, so I've got flour all over the tea towel and everywhere. So that is. Mm, that's Stuart's cob loaf. Cob, 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 whatever you want to call it. Cob. Coburg or Coburg, Coburg. I was going to call it Covid then, but it is like a Covid loaf, isn't it? It's Covid but season. It's Covid lockdown cob. Lockdown Covid cob, cobbler, blah blah. So this is a cobbler. Um, the pop. Oh, on the, on the cooling tray, the tray. That's, that's I'm popping Stuart's on the cooling tray. I'm going to pop mine. Oh. Put pop mine around his on the cooling tray. You when you actually no, you can't see the cooling tray. I'll lift the cooling tray up. Got what I'm calling the cooling tray. Yeah. Here we are. It's our little. They smell delicious. It smells like a proper freaking bakery in here. Mm. I feel like I'm doing a mukbang with Trisha Paytas. Mm, look at the food. Look at my baps. That's literally what she would say if you're on her OnlyFans right now. Look at my only fan back, like I'm Trisha Paytas. Mm. So yeah, that's them all done. I suppose maybe I'm gonna taste a bit of it, like without butter or anything, because I like them when they're nice and cold with butter on it. I know weird, but I've never ever actually had fresh bread like this. I'm gonna give Stuart a bit. We're having a bit of the bottom bit of it first. It tastes like bread. It tastes like bread. It tastes frosty. Mm. Now, if I'm proper Trisha Paytas, I've got to get mm, and make all the noises because she likes that and mm, don't do it on her only phone. Well, I'm different to you. I prefer a bit of butter on mine, but it's nice. No, I do, but like, I, not, I don't like it all melts. I don't like that toast as such. I'm going to try a bit of the top bit, the crust, the crack, the, what's it called? Crust, what? Crust. Crust. The crust in it. You can eat a crust, listen. Mmm, you can eat a crust. Let me try. Oh! Much better! <laughs> well, I just fell over as he said that. He thinks he's not a jello now. <laughs> I'm too happy to try. <laughs> That's attractive. I hope I didn't have a bugger up my nose and I'll see you near to two. Well, we won't make a baker out of him yet. Mm. We need to get his cooking from his baking right, though. We don't yeah. cook where we bake bread. We do, like, sorry, that's true. It's like the voice of God just appearing from the ceiling somewhere. But no, it's true. And I really enjoyed this. Thank you, Stuart. It was lovely. Um, um, we've made some lovely bread. And then we're going to spaghetti bolognese later. Or chicken carne. I can't remember what sauce no, it's, Um. Oh! What do you call it? The lockdown meal that we've created is like stir fry with stir mince fry meat. with mint and this. What's that curry thing? Are oh, we having the curry thing today? You, have, you normally have that in here. Not with the mint. Yeah, you do. Yeah, no, oh. we usually have this. It's recommended by oh. my friend Debbie. It's absolutely lovely and everything. It tastes a bit like a katsu because we love katsu. Um, but we have done a stir fry, big stir fry. Like we've got loads of noodles and stir fry. We decided to make a curry stir fry. But we're actually having mints that we've got. That's going to update tomorrow. With stir fry. With stir fry Which vegetables nice. and noodles, but with tomato sauce. But it really nice. It's like I suppose that's spaghetti. Sweet and sour sauce. No. 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 Don't use the sachet. No, I don't. I just use the. Oh. We've got sweet chili sauce in the fridge, sorry, <laughs> having a normal conversation like I'm not making a video for YouTube or anything. Um, but yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you make it. I will try and remember and pop the little recipe in the link below. It's the same recipe for Stuart's bread or my bread, just how you shape it at the end, I suppose. Um, Stuart said we could have done knots, actually. He should have, if, but next time. Also, with the bread, remember just to let them know, like the term, whatever. <laughs> you, can make, you, four. you can make a bloomer. Make a boomer. You can make a tin, obviously you need a tin to do it in. Oh yeah, that was the other thing you probably noticed, we didn't use actual bread tins or anything. Obviously, Stuart used a round baking tin and I used a tray just to 
Put my, you can use a bread tin, obviously, as well. And for a blue mark, you don't need a tin. You just need to make the shape of the blue mark. Put it on the tray like you make your rolls with. Oh, so yeah, so like you shape it out for a blue mark. Pop it on the tray like I did my rolls. We might show you that on part two. Yeah, we, we might, might show have... you the lock rolls as well. Lockdown, lock rolls and lockdown bloomer bread. Well, I can't stop eating this. Um, so you won't eat your dinner? I won't eat my dinner. But it was very yummy. It is very yummy. So I think it's going to be lovely as well, I'm sure. Yeah, but... I'll drink this and we'll be happy. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please, let's be friends everywhere. Follow me on my Instagram. And sometimes I said I'm on TikTok. TikTok? TikTok, I can't even say it. TikTok, but very rarely because I just no coordination to the dances. But, yeah, so follow me on my IG. And I do update my stories there. I might do a live at some point soon so we can have a chat, get to know each other. Um, and yeah, obviously, if you would be absolutely adorable little jam pots and tap the subscribe and bell button so you get notifications every time I upload or I'm online or do something jazzical for you to watch. And if you would be an absolute dear, click the like button and give me a big thumbs up because then YouTube likes the algorithm. It means I might broadcast to six people next week. But um, yeah, so look out for the diary upload. There's one going up this week. I don't know what day I'll upload, this is Wednesday now, God knows when I will actually edit this and put it all together. But it will be up very soon before the weekend, um, if I don't speak to you beforehand, enjoy VE Day, stay safe, social distance, do as you're told, and don't kill people. Uh, lots of love and virtual hugs, and I'll see you all much later. Bye!